hello friends and welcome back to the channel and welcome back for day number 20 of our 30 day island challenge to complete a halloween spooky island and today marks the two-thirds way through the challenge which is absolutely crazy also we are standing in front of the build that we created yesterday it's a little rock concert so if you haven't seen that video go watch that one before this one because it's really fun so check that one out I'm also noticing in the background that Ash, uh, Rasher is up there and I didn't think about the villagers actually going up there. That's actually super funny, but he looks so cute up there. Oh my gosh, is he gonna play the guitar? Oh, I love it. I wish I could trap him up there for the DA, but I don't think I can. And then I saw Lucky over here as well. Super adorable. We do have to get rid of Rasher though, so sorry about that. But yeah, this is the area we built yesterday. And then we are going to be working on an area a little farther over to this side and we'll have to work on the cliff shaping because we need to shape it up for what we're doing and then we will be leaving this area alone yesterday's video in yesterday's video i mentioned that we had this extra space that initially was just going to be filler but i decided it's way too big to be a filler area so i'm trying to think i might put the campsite over here or I might do the potion shop. I don't know which one yet, but we won't be focusing on that today. We'll be focusing on this area, which is gonna be where all the villagers live. And I'll pop up on the screen a picture of the like map layout that I created. And we have this whole villager neighborhood and it's like a tiered villager neighborhood. So we will have to do a lot of terraforming. So let's just rip off the band-aid and put on our construction hat. And I do apologize if I sound a little sick in this video because that's exactly what's happening. I am a little sick. So sorry if you hear like a sniffle every once in a while or if I sound a little congested because I very much am congested. So, okay, I need to figure this out first because we need to map out what we're doing. And I know for a fact that we need four tiles right here. So we need to break this down by two more. So the very front of the cliff at most will be right here. And I did get the inspiration for this neighborhood build from a Instagrammer called November Oscar Whisker. So I'll have her ins information in Instagram down in the description box for you. She makes some amazing islands and I really loved the way she had her neighborhood built on her like Easter Island. So I'm taking a ton of inspiration from that to make this neighborhood. But I'm gonna try to shape up this cliff first. So I will be back in one second. Okay, so I have this the beginning of this cliff done. So what I'm gonna do is climb up here because I need to map out where everything is going to go. And I think this cliff is wide enough. I also have all my tree storage and bush storage over here. So hopefully we won't make it far enough where that will be impacting us. But let's see. So, okay, I have some dark dirt. So I know this back level cliff is going to be um, open because we do need to make a second level cliff as well. So this will be right here i'll get rid of this pathing eventually but i just need to map it out so my brain like understands what's happening so i know that a house is four tiles by four tiles and i want there to be a little bit of an edge so probably like two tiles like one two and then i kind of want to put a row of fencing in the back so okay this is one two three so the first house would probably start one tile over like right here and then we'll make four by four block okay so first house done and i kind of didn't explain what i was doing so four houses will be the top row then four houses will be the bottom row and then two houses will be at the very bottom i mean i showed the picture so you kind of have an understanding of what i'm doing and then i think i want two tiles in between the houses so the next house would be right here. So let's map that one out. All right, so that house is done. And then this is where the staircases will be like in this line. So we have um, one and then there'll be like a two center and then a another little gap. And then this is where the next house will begin. 
So one, two, three, four. And then again, we skip one, two, and then, nope, that was one. Come on, Nintendo. And then one, two, three, four. And of course we make it like right over to my tree storage. So we will have to move all of this eventually. But let me finish mapping out these houses. Okay, I'm trying using, I'm trying using my brain. So we have this set up and then <laughs> we'll have another little bit of walkway. So one, two, and this is where that second level cliff will finish. And then we need to have the next house. So wait, let me mark it over here because we don't have weeds on this side, which I do have to pluck in a second, but whatever. So we have another house in line with this house, but I want one space for a fence again. So one, two, three, four. Okay, this is way too far back actually. I feel like I did this wrong. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I need to, or I guess my brain is broken. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do, but I need to get rid of all of this mapping. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So one, two from the front, and then one, two, three, four. Is that four or three? That's three. So this is where where the first house will be. So it's a little bit more forward than I had originally mapped out. But I need to I need to think this through real quick. Okay, so one house, and then we have a tile here. Wait, did this? Turn out- wait, this is perfectly fine. What, do I, what was I thinking about? I think I'm going crazy. Okay, and then the house over here will start here. And then we'll just map this little guy out. Okay, okay, I think I'm doing this correctly. I don't know, I feel like my brain's not working at full capacity today. So bear with me, I don't know why I planned like my most in-depth building for like the day that I'm feeling the worst. But I think I, I have this figured out. I do have to move my tree storage, but I'll do that in a little bit. I need to get rid of these weeds first. Okay, and then the next house will start here. And then this goes over four tiles. Here we go, first house. And then this house will be right here. Perfect. Okay, I think this worked out actually like perfect. I didn't really plan this out when I did the road before, but it worked out exactly how it needed to, thankfully. Somehow, I managed to get all of this done exactly in the right dimensions. So, good job. I mean, I guess I did follow, like, the map that I made. So, planning does work sometimes. Even though I didn't plan this out, like, 100% correctly, but that's okay. And then, this will be this house. And then we have to plan out the bottom houses, too. Okay, and then the houses down here, let's map those out. I do need to finish this road real quick. Road is done, so we can map out. This is where the uh, staircase will go. So it will probably come out, it comes out three tiles, I think. So like right here, which is, I think, fine. And then the two houses down here, we'll only have two houses on this bottom level. And I don't think I have room to have a fence behind this one which isn't a hundred percent perfect but that's okay but this first house will go right here and then there's like one tile extra kind of deal so that works out well and then the next one the final house will go right in this spot i don't know what order i want these houses to go in like who i want to place where we also don't have the last two of our villagers we have to kick Twiggy and Rasher out still, which I have a fear is going to be very difficult. So I should probably get on that sooner than rather sooner rather than later. Okay, but let's check this out on the map. Okay, that looks really cool. Now we just have to build up that back cliff and put the back houses on this. And then we can start moving them all around. All right, so everything is mapped out now and I did some a little bit more terraforming so all of this is gone and we have this pathway now. So I think it's time to start with the house moving and building of the bridge. What, this is not a bridge, an incline. So let's run over to resident services which should be right here. 
all and Rasher came all the way up here to sing. So cute. I think I'm just gonna go right down the list. So we'll start with Tammy reluctantly, but we'll see who replaces her because we do have to kick her off the island. I can't believe she's been here since the very beginning. I feel like the, no, we did get rid of Twiggy actually. Okay, and then we do have to get the incline plot as well. We need just two inclines, I think. So, and I'm gonna grab the uh, stone ones because that's what we've been using on the island so far. So I'm gonna use this one as our first plot. So this is where Tammy's going to live. Here we go. All right, first house out of 10 placed. We only have nine more to go. And then also let's go ahead and place the uh, incline down as well. Uh, this is the spot. And then I did grab, I think I have enough money. I don't remember how much it costs, but I have like 300,000. So I'll pay this off and then we'll time skip so we can continue moving all the houses. So I went ahead and placed Rod's house and another incline. It's starting to look really cool, I think. But I figured before we actually add in all the houses and makes it really difficult that I'll just do all of the fencing now. So behind all of the houses, I want to incorporate a row of vertical board fencing. And I'm going to do a similar pattern that I used when we used this fence before. I don't remember what build it was in, but we definitely use this in another area. And it's going to be switching out between the green version and the purple version. And it's easier to just do it now rather than when the houses are in because then you have to do it like from a sideways angle and that gets really weird. So I'm just going to do it now because it makes everything a lot easier. So I'll finish this and then we'll get to moving more house plots. Oh no, is Cleo the one thinking? I've been running around seeing if anyone is trying to move away and unfortunately it's Cleo this time. So we are definitely telling her that she cannot go because we need Cleo to stay. I would have loved it if it was Tammy or Rasher, but of course, it's one of the perfect little babies we have on the island. I'm still in the process of moving all the houses, so I'll catch you back when I'm caught up with that. All right, I just placed the last house plot, but we do have a campsite villager. Oh, also... I would like to mention, we still have three stars. We have a couple more like Lily of the Valleys popping up. So that's really fun, still at five stars. But I wanna see who's at our campsite today. Again, the villagers that we're really looking for are Biscuit, Tabby, and those are like the main ones. And then villagers I would like to have are Lobo and, uh, what's his name? Static, I really like Static too. So those would be awesome but it's probably not going to be one of them, but we can go check it out. Oh, it's Hamlet. We saw him on the hunt the other day that we did. Um, he's super cute. I would definitely have him on like a normal kid core island, but he's just like not Halloween enough. So goodbye Hamlet. So I did mention that we are done moving all the houses. So one thing I also want to do today is actually change the exterior of all the houses. I'm not going to do the interiors because that's like a little crazy to do. I'll probably have a whole day just to do interiors of the villager homes, but I do want to change their exteriors. And I think there's two that we might not change too much, which is Lucky's house and Nan's house, but the rest of them have to change. All right, so this is what we're gonna do for Tammy's house. I think it's pretty cute. This is what we're gonna do for Rod's house. And I think this is what we're gonna do for Bob's house. It's a little different, but I think this is what we're going to do for Sally's house. I really like this one, and this is Cleo's house. And this will be Teddy's home, which I do actually really like as well. I like the siding a lot. I didn't change too much for Nan. I think I just changed the roof and gave her a door plate. So this is her new house. This one I'm not like 100% happy with, I don't think. But for now, this is Muffy's house. This is Rasher's new house. We will be getting rid of him, but whoever replaces him will take this house design. I also didn't change Lucky's house too much. I think it's just the door and the door plate. And I'm not sure about the door plate. I might change that eventually, but I think for now, this will be Lucky's house. This is what we're looking like right now, but let's see what it looks like when everyone's houses are redone. 
Ooh, okay. This is pretty fun. I think I need to look at them more closely. But this looks a lot more like the vibe of the island. It does look like the house all the way over to the left is sticking out. I think that's Bob's house. His house is sticking out a little bit just because it's like, I think the only orange house that we have. But let's take a closer look. We have these two houses down here. I really like both of these houses. So I know for a fact that these two are going to be staying. I don't love that these two houses have the same exterior type. I might swap one of these with one of the houses over on this side, except that house is like that too. I don't know if it matters that much, but this orange house is definitely sticking out a lot. So that one might change up here. I do like this one a little bit more now that I see it here. Nan's house is good. She's always out here like sweeping and looking at the flowers. She's so adorable. And then over this way, yeah, these two look pretty good too. This one is, I think, the darkest house out of all of them. I think this is Rasher's house. Um, but I still think it's pretty cute. But I'm pretty happy with this. The only one that I might change is this one. But I don't know yet. I'm going to keep it like it is and just think about it. But now it's time to actually decorate around this place. Okay, so first things first is going to be some custom codes. And I think for right where the uh, we have the inclines, I want to use this little step code that we have. I think it's really cute. And it kind of looks like the continuation of the uh, stairs that we have. So I'm going to put this where we have all of those inclines. And I'll do it up here too. I don't want to bring it all the way back. Because I think in the middle right here, I want to put a pumpkin carriage. So I don't think I want to do that, but for everything else, I think I'm just going to go with this black tile and just put it everywhere. And even in these like little crevices up here, I think I'm just going to add in this black sidewalk code that we've been using. And I don't know if I want to put this underneath the fence. That would be a real pain because the whole purpose of us putting that fence down already was because it was going to be a pain in that butt to put it down with the houses here. So I think for now, I'm gonna keep the grass under the fence, but everything else will have this black code. All right, so I'm gonna start down here. And what I wanna do first is place some frozen pillars and I grab them in the purple color. And then you can actually place stuff on top of the frozen pillars if you didn't know that. Fun fact, it's really fun. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Same color, same color of the uh, pumpkins as well and then in this little crack right here i have a bunch of plant partitions so i'm just going to scooch that in that little crack and it just fills in that area very nicely and i like that again i got this idea from november oscar whisker she did it on her eye and then in front of those i'm going to add two spooky towers just to add a little bit more of the uh, like spooky feel and i just love the spooky towers i think it's probably my favorite of all the spooky items and then we have a nice little like entryway in here and then i was thinking about also putting the plant partitions along this way but i was also thinking of using the frozen fence i feel like that would be kind of fun but let's see what the uh, plant partitions look like because i do have like a whole row of them so this whole thing could be aligned with plant partitions okay so these are our two options i think I think I like the frozen fence a little bit more just because it's a little bit more fun and this is supposed to be technically a kid core um, island so this one is more like city so if I was going for like a more normal city maybe I would do this one but I think I'm going to be a little fun I'm going to be fun and I'm going to use the frozen fence so I'll do that on this side and then I'll also do that up here as well. So I did the same thing I did down on this side up here, just in this little like walkway. So that's all the same. And then I did add in all of the uh, frozen fence and I think that looks really cool. And then what I want to do is in this little area, I want to add in some spooky trees in between the houses. And I think I'm going to put it there. I feel like we could put something else in front of it or maybe behind it. We could do a plant partition actually behind it. Maybe I sneak in my plant partitions in a different area. Let me grab some and see what that looks like behind that. Yeah, I think that's okay. I might actually change these out for orange pumpkin spooky trees just because I feel like the green is a little 
dark and I have been using a lot of the orange pumpkins. So I'm going to keep the plant partition, but I'm going to switch all of the uh, spooky trees over to the orange ones. But all of these little areas between the houses will all be the same. Now we have all of these little trees and I did add one on the ends of the two top ones, but I didn't add anything over on this side because I feel like I could put something else here. It's a big enough space. I just have to think about it for a second. So I haven't done anything there. But in this middle area, I want to add a spooky carriage. And I just love this item so much, especially for like centerpieces of like bigger areas. I think it is so fun. I do wish it was a two by two or like two wide at least, but we will have to place these extra little spooky guys kind of on this little pathway right here. I don't know if I want it here or one over. Let's try both. If we do it that way, I think that looks kind of good. And then the pumpkins are in line all the way up. Yeah, I kind of like that. And you can still get through here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to give everyone a spooky treat basket outside of their house. And it will look like they're like putting out candy for Halloween. So each house will get that. And then they'll have a different type of stool or something in front of their house. So I'll do that. And then something else I want to do on the bottom of this cliff where that like extra cliff is i think i want to cover it with this um sidewalk code as well oh i didn't even mention this earlier i was gonna make all of this that sidewalk code but instead in front of the houses for like two tiles deep i added this brick code and i really like it so that's on all of the levels but i forgot to mention that but down there i want to add the sidewalk code and then i want to line the signs with fences the big tall metal like grate fences and i'll do that on both sides just along this little edge so you can't really like see the cliff and it just gives like a nice thing so you don't feel like you're gonna like fall off the edge so i'll do that and then i'll put out all the spooky tree baskets all right so basically the whole neighborhood is finished now everyone has a little trick-or-treat basket and i did add some trees flowers and bushes in those extra spaces and then I added a little plaza bench because I think it is so cute and I feel like no one uses this item. And I really like the black and gold version of it so I added those on the corners. But now we have like one more area that we have to decorate for this and that is next to the front houses. We have this whole little area right here that is empty and it's on both sides. So the thing I wanted to start out with is I actually went and grabbed another custom code and it's actually a standee and it's this little guy that looks like the vertical board fencing and it's a little brown but I think it's supposed to be the black color and I want to line this whole area with that so it looks like I don't know so it's not just um the cliff side because I really don't like seeing the cliff honestly and I thought this design was cute so I'm going to add that sidewalk code all along this area and cover the cliff side with this little face cutout standy and then I think on one side I'm gonna make it like a little park like a little playground and then I was thinking either a little dog park area on the one side or a farm of some sort so we have a playground and then maybe like a puppy area or a garden um I do have carrots over on the beach that I could use but I don't really think that's very Halloween and we are gonna have a pumpkin patch in this area up here so i don't think i want to do a pumpkin patch but yeah let me think about it while i put out all these face cutout standees okay so i quickly just filled in these little areas so i made this one a little dog park and i think it's so cute i've never made one before but this is so adorable i also wanted to point out that i did line the whole edge of both sides of the neighborhood in the sidewalk code and fencing just to end it off and again so when you're on the second side well, on the second floor, you don't like fall off the cliff kind of thing. And then over here, we just have a small little playground. Um, I might come back and adjust this a little bit later, but for now, I think it is fine. It's just a little small little filler spot, but that's pretty much it for this area. We have all of the villager homes here now. It's all filled in. I love how this area turned out. I still think I might go in and adjust one or two of the houses that we have just because they aren't my favorites but I think this area is super fun and before I say goodbye for the day because I feel like I've been 
filming this forever now because it took so long to move all the houses and time travel and everything, I want to go check out the shops because I haven't been there in a few days. And we decorated them already, so they're super cute over here. So let's check out what we have in Able Sisters. Ooh, Tammy's in here. I wish you would ask to move out, Tammy. That would be super nice of you. Because I'm sorry, but you just don't fit the island, so you have to leave eventually. Okay, so what do we have here? This shirt is kind of fun, actually. I don't know if I've ever seen these ones before. I might buy this. It's kind of fun. Um, ooh. The zap suits. There's not really... I guess the green kind of matches our color scheme. I wish there was an orange one, but we do have a black one. That's pretty fun. This hat also matches our, like, style that we're going for. Oh my gosh, it's kind of fitting that we just did a dog park and now we have the dog noses. That's actually pretty funny. I think I'm gonna buy both of these things and... Do I want the zap suit? No, I think I want this shirt more. Actually, no, I lied. I'm getting the zap suit. I think I'm gonna get the black one and this hat, but I'm not gonna wear it today because I like my little groovy outfit I have going on. I feel like I'm looking quite like a Harvey right now. Pretty groovy, if I do say so. April Sisters is done. So let's take a look at Nook's Cranny. Ooh, I like this rocket, but I would want it in a different color. I don't really love that. Also, how much is this TV? I could get it from a treasure- oh yeah, I don't have enough money. I might get it from a treasure island because we could use a TV in my house, which I'm not looking forward to decorating, by the way. <laughs> this challenge is like all really fun until it's time to decorate the interiors. Ooh, okay. I don't think I've looked at the carpets and stuff since we upgraded the shop, but I'm gonna get this paper and then I think I'm gonna get the polka dot flooring. I can't remember if I've bought this already but it is rather cute so I'm gonna buy that too and then I don't think there's anything else I want in here I would love if we got that little radio right there I think it's so adorable also those pumpkins up there and the garland do we get that garland it's so cute okay now I'm just getting upset because they have cute stuff I want and these posters over here are really cute how dare you keep these from me Tommy I think this is Timmy actually yeah that's Timmy okay that I'm losing track of where I'm going. Okay, that's all. Before I head out for the day, I feel like I said that already, but again, before I head out for the day, I want to go take a look at what the neighborhood looks like from this vantage point because we kind of saw it when all the houses were decorated, but not when we had like the actual decorations outside. So let's see what it looks like here. I'm kind of sad that you can't see the houses on the third row, but let's try the... Yeah, you still can't see them. You can see a little bit of the spooky carriage, but you can't really see the houses. And again, I think I might change the orange house because it's not my favorite and I feel like it's drawing my attention over there. So we might change that one. But I really like how this is looking. Um, this area up here will be on a cliff, so you will get this vantage point, which I think is really fun. And this area that I'm standing on is actually going to be a pumpkin patch, which maybe We'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. It's either the pumpkin patch or my house tomorrow. But friends, that's going to be the end of episode 20. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So when that video is ready, it should be somewhere on the screen for you on one of these sides. And if that's ready, go ahead and watch that now. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Bye friends.